Well, hello there, YouTubers, and especially how's it going, Wrestling Fanatics. I don't know how I'm going to say this. Um, this is not a really wrestling topic, sorry. But anyway, I finally watched the XFL documentary. I finally watched it. Sorry if I had to repeat myself. Um, I did not watch it the first night because I was uh, doing other things. So the second attempt, I tried to record it. And then when I record it, it was a different program. It was a total fail. But the third attempt, I recorded it and it was a great success. So I watched it what, last night and I really enjoyed the documentary. Bring back memories. And... um. I really wish the XFL was still with us, from my point of view, because I love freaking football. I miss it right now. And no more college football, no more NFL. Now I got to until August. I could care less about preseason. Um, so, I'm going to do the best that I can with this documentary, okay? They discuss and show a little highlight about the XFL blimp. That was a total fail. I remember they they showed that on ESPN back in the day. Um, I think the first week of XFL was a great success. Then the weeks prior to that, you know, I don't know how many weeks was in XFL, but it went downhill. Then McMahon do some crazy stuff. Um, you know how McMahon is. He wants ratings, ratings, ratings like these days, but... Look like these days he don't give a darn. Um, then he can stand one of these announcers. He pulled him away from the the instead of the A show he goes to the B show, not B show, but the B um, game. He brings Jim Ross because he has more pizzazz, more give the crowd more hype. They bring in Jesse Ventura, former governor of Minnesota. A lot of people are hating on him back in the day. I could care less. That's okay. Now, the thing, from my point of view, it really hurt the XFL. They bring these WF superheroes, The Rock, Austin on the big screen. I know McMahon paid him a lot of money to make an appearance, but still. Keep the XFL and WF separate back in the day, but whatever. And um, they even... Promoted on WF programming back in the day, of course, because WF and XFL, you know, it's one company. Actually, it isn't, but they promoted it. Actually, it was NBC and WF back in the day. It was on UPN, the good old days when SmackDown used to be on there. And um, USA, I think. No, UB, UPN and NBC. And um, the one highlight they discuss was... Um, Someone, idiot, did not put the, um, the fuel in the, um, the um, transformer or whatever. You know what I'm trying to say? Not the transformer, but the fuel. So they lost fuel. They lost power. And there was a total embarrassment for McMahon and Dick. I forget what his last name is. The, 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 the two guys who ran XFL... They were heating up. They were very pissed off. And um, so they switched over to the the Chicago Enforcer game. I forgot who they were playing. And not just one overtime, two overtime. And it was a Saturday night um, live. You know, they, they, it was supposed to be a cutoff, but they had two overtime games. And Jennifer Lopez was the host with them most that night and I know she was very pissed off. I love the I, I really love to have her on this documentary and give her thoughts on um what took so long, you know, I don't know you know what I'm saying? That'd be kinda cool but they never asked her. I mean, probably they did probably she said and no. Or probably Jeff Lopez wants too much money as it is, you know, like she really needs the extra cash. I know she's still hot. I think so. But anyway, um, I think I said in the past, but I'm going to say it again. My dad, my brother, myself, and my uncle had a, a good time. For the first time, we went to an XFL game. And the only time, because they closed 
um, that final year was very sad. McMahon wants to keep going, but he was a very stubborn guy like he is now. Um, they they have this. They've been discussing this ever since the Super Bowl in what I forgot what year they discussing this. I think two thousand, and it was a short mini camp, a short preseason. Um, none of these guys were signed at the time, so it was very very unorganized. And I was very disappointed. But in the long run, I had fun watching it on TV. Um, here's the original ticket. I know, very weird. Original ticket for the game. There's not a playoff game. It's the last game of the regular season. Only five freaking bucks. It's way better than the NFL. NFL is way too much money back in the day, even the current days. So, and the cool thing is how the XFL did. They had this awesome camera going down the field. NFL never did that until the XFL went out of business. And how XFL got the idea is they got the image for one of the mana games from what Nintendo or I forget what system was, is for Madden 98. Now, the graphics of Madden now, the graphics of back in the day is way better now from my point of view. But a lot of people like old school. I love old school too. But it was time for change. So they use that. And they even have, um, you can hear the, um, the football players and the coaching. Coaching. Now, you know, the coaching player, the coach and the players, you can hear them talking. Back then, you can't hear that kind of stuff in the NFL. All things for the XFL. So when the, NF, when the XFL went out of business, sadly, from my point of view, um, the NFL took their camera, or not the camera, their idea. I think that stuff was a good idea, but other stuff was a total fail. Even Jimmy John, not Jimmy Johnson, um, the owner of Dallas Cowboys didn't like the XFL. That's why I heard about the, from the, the documentary. And I'm um, sorry, I get kind of nervous behind the camera. Um, now, 15 late, 15 years later, McMahon and Dick had a nice dinner, and if they want to do it again, maybe, but I think that's just a tease. I don't think so, because they're both old, and if they could do it, maybe Triple H could do it, but Triple H has a lot of things on his plate. So, it was a great experience. I never had at any XFL merchandise, no hat, but... I do have an XFL, the original shirt or jersey, number one. I get this at, I think, Goodwill or Salvation Army for, what, three bucks or two bucks. I don't remember. Um, I wish I had a, I bought a program back in the day. I don't think XFL carried it. Um, attendance was awful in Chicago. It was the worst attendance for the XFL that year. It was awful. Uh, the lowest attendance. So probably, I'm, 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 su I'm surprised they didn't mention that in the documentary. But um, the thing I really liked is how they go for the ball. Instead of kicking to it, they were just doing a scramble. But a lot of guys were out for the year. So the NFL never... Um, use that idea from the XFL. So it's very sad that XFL never made a video game out of this because can you imagine the graphics now? They could do it, but probably they need NBC permission. That'd be awesome. Hey, McMahon and all that good stuff. This is the XFL. He's the only one who did it very good. And I really like the idea of have, instead of having a Super Bowl, you get like a little awesome trophy and you win money also because these players they didn't make that much money regardless. And these are the players that they accept, I mean, the NFL dumped, or dumped because they don't want to sign them in the draft or they were un, undrafted or something like that. So XFL sign them and then if they win the big pot and the big money at the end of the rainbow 
I'm just saying this. They get they get like a little trophy and they get a pot of money. So that's pretty neat. The NFL would never, ever, ever do that kind of stipulation or kind of thing. So I know they get money for Super Bowl, but not like they mention it on TV. So this wraps it up. This is like a special video kind of thing. So five bucks for a ticket. Wow. Unbelievable, but that wraps it up. Do you think the XFL will come back? I don't think so. I think Dick and McMahon are just teasing us. So, I've been to a game. Have you ever been to an XFL game before? I know there's only, what, eight uh, teams out there, but have they ever expanded it, like in a video game world, or if they do it correctly, party could do it in other parts of who has um, cities with stadiums, and if they do it correctly in the future, hopefully they could have a better draft and name, because they were they were keep bugging McMahon. What's the name of the, um, what, what city is going to play where? You know what I'm trying to say? It was very unorganized, and I know they were getting a major headache. I think McMahon just kind of rushed it. They should just do it a couple more years down the road, but don't do it right away after the Super Bowl they just ended. You know what I'm trying to say? You know, the Super Bowl ended um, from 98. They were discussing, what, two years, and they get nothing accomplishment until, what, um, 2000 and then the league opened in 2001 that's kind of rushing it but that's just my opinion have a good night and have a great weekend and i'll talk to you very soon maybe sometime this weekend not really too sure thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed this vi video love it